let sin x be equal to y and then let cos x be equal to uh, z look what i'm gonna have i'm gonna have this where they sign x i'm gonna have square root of 2 y z is equal to z you see what i do so how do you solve this you take z to the other side so it will be square root of 2 y z minus z is equal to 0 you see now z is common so you factorize z out so you've got square root of 2y minus 1 because z is out so when you're having z cancel there you're left with y z cancel there you're left with 1 is equal to 0 that's what you'll be having then you're going to say let z be equal to 0 or square root of 2y minus 1 is equal to 0 and then you start solving even here square root of 2y minus 1 that's what you'll be doing so what am i saying take cos x to the other side so that you've got square root of 2 sine x cos x now it becomes minus cos x this becomes what zero cos is common take it out cos x when you're factorizing simple it means you're dividing so you are cancelling that cancelling that you are cancelling that cancelling that so that we are left with one day and one day so it will be root 2 sin x minus 1 that's what you are doing there all right so i will be left in the root 2 uh, sin x minus 1 close that bracket though is equal to 0 then here it means either cos Now, if you're joining me in 5.4, for the first time, it means you missed 5.3 and it also means you are not subscribed, maybe, because you didn't get the YouTube notification. So subscribe right now and ensure that the notification bell is turned on so that every time I'm posting these continuation videos, you get it. What, is, what am I doing now different? I'm making these videos in small pockets so that you can be able to understand them. So that you don't have to sit for hours and hours trying to understand the concept so i just do a video and then after doing a video in small parts and then after that keep on posting them and then you're going to be watching them in those sequences okay now let's look at question 5.4 it's a general solution you need to be good on these ones because they're not difficult look at this it says determine the general solution of that so what do i have let me start by writing it here because my final answer is where I'm going to write it uh, down there. 5.4, remember? That's what we're looking at. Some of you are saying 5.2. Guys, as I said, I've done this previously. I've even done all this. I did even this one. This question is done. 5.1. So if you didn't do what I told you to subscribe, okay, don't blame me. Now, 5.4. Look at this. We have got square root of 2 and then i've got sin x and then i've got cos x is equal to cos x now just want to show you something if for argument sake for argument sake i say let cos let this be let sin x be equal to y and then let cos x be equal to uh, z look what i'm gonna have i'm gonna have this where they sign x i'm gonna have square root of 2 y z is equal to z you see what i do so how do you solve this you take z to the other side so it will be square root of 2 y z minus z is equal to 0 you see now z is common so you factorize z out so you've got square root of 2 y minus 1 because z is out so 
when you're having z cancel there you're left with y z cancel there you're left with one is equal to zero that's what you'll be having then you're going to say let z be equal to zero or square root of 2y minus 1 is equal to 0 and then you start solving even here square root of 2y minus 1 that's what you'll be doing so what am i saying take cos x to the other side so that you've got square root of 2 sine x cos x now it becomes minus cos x this becomes what 0 cos is common take it out cos x when you're factorizing, simple it means you're dividing. So you are cancelling that, cancelling that. You are cancelling that, cancelling that. So that we are left with one day and one day. So it will be root two sine x minus one. That's what you are doing there. Alright. So I will be left with root two uh, sine x minus one. Close that bracket though. Is equal to zero. Then here it means either cos x is equal to 0 or square root of 2 uh, sine x minus 1 is equal to 0 then you need to do a little bit here this one is already done but here you need to do a little bit take negative 1 to the other side we have got square root of 2 uh, sine x is equal to 1 which is positive negative to what to positive Square root of 2 is disturbing there. We divide by what? Square root of 2. On both sides, what you do on the left, you do on the right. That we've got now sine x is equal to negative 1 over square root of 2. Yes, I know. You haven't done much. Maybe now you ask yourself, how many marks so far? I'll say 2 marks for this. They'll give you 2 marks. If they give you 3, it was a bonus. It was a bonus. Now, how do we go to the general solution? We have got two things here for the general solution. Let's start with that one. You are going to say cos, if cos x is equal to 0. Now let's find x. Remember, at the moment you say x, you say a cos. A cos, a cos 0, a cos that angle. And then it will give us what? So if I can use then the calculator now to say what is a cos shift, cos, that's a cos 0. It gives me at 90. So I'm going to write this 90. Now, when you're writing 90, because you're dealing, let's come back to, uh, let me give you, what can I, where can I write this? Uh, okay, I don't have space, but let me do it here. Let me do it here. Just want to show you, because very important. Let's have a cast diagram. Okay, cast. Cast diagram is very important. Look at this. This is 0. This is 90. This is what? 180. This is 270. This is 360. Now, they are saying here, for, for sine theta and cos theta, you must know the, 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 the graphs of these. They turn around 100 and 360. Why? Because the graphs are either like that, Oh, okay like that or oh, I think for course you remember it's like this I just forgot like how to properly put that to be like that okay let me do it like with a different pen for course it will be like this you start from there cut there maximum and do that that is for course but one thing a complete cycle for sine and cos is what is 360 just know that now, because it is 360, what we do for cos, we are saying here, it will be 90 plus plus K 360 degrees. If it was 10, the complete cycle is of 180, if you remember. But sine and cos, 360. But we have got 90. That's the general solution. That's X. But is it all? No. All X is equal to where do you find the other one the moment you come here and say it's under 90 according to our, our, our cast diagram what about 270 is on the same line so don't leave out 270 90 goes with 270 360 i mean what zero goes with 180 or 360 so i can come here and say 
or 270 degrees plus K 360 then there are key things that they will always want to penalize you on this one I'm gonna emphasize it. you must say where K is an element of Z very important K is an element of our uh, real numbers I mean of integers that is Z that they will be looking for this condition because k cannot be a fraction it's only happening when k is an integer from negative to positive integers they will penalize you if you forget that all right we are done with the first one let's go to the general solution of this one now it's six marks guys now you can get your one mark and two marks with the other two here one mark and uh, two marks so it's four let's go to the sign sign now you remember the moment you say uh, x we, we got sine x was equal to minus one over square root of two are you with me but now whenever you're finding sine x don't put that so we're going to get x as a ref what is x ref you're going to say x ref is um is a sine 1 over square root of 2 don't don't put that negative out I'll, I'll show you how it works so don't put that negative for now find shift x sign of 1 over square root of 2 don't put that negative just work on it like this I'll show you how you play around that 45 good it's a, it's a, it's a special angle 45 degrees that's a reference angle remember now back to our cast diagram our cast diagram said negative so we come here and say all students take chemistry our reference said 45 so our reference was focusing on what on the positive 45 but we know sign is negative here and here that is where the answer lies that is where the answer lies so if sine is negative then there you know the reduction rule is 360 minus theta what is that theta is the reference of 45 so it will be 360 minus 45 even here on the third quadrant it will be 180 plus our reference is 180 plus theta but what is our reference is 45 so what is the answer here 360 minus 45 what do i get which is um so it's 360 minus 45 uh, equal to what 315 so it's 315 and then the other one is 180 plus 45 is 225 so here is 315 here it's uh 225 so what do I do? I come here and write the final. See, it's in two areas. So I come here and say it's 200 and so X here. Start with X. X is equal to 225 degrees plus K 360. So don't be shocked or surprised. Where are they getting this? 225 is from that or 315 of x is equal to 315 degrees plus k 360 degrees remember what is the condition you need to put that condition k is an element of integers they will be requiring that if you forget that you might lose a mark that's the condition on that guys that's how you go about the general solution i know some of you are saying maybe give us more give us more of this check the next coming videos where i do general but there are lots of videos where i did general solution so just search the channel you can find because there are different approaches in different questions but this was what i wanted to show you on the 24 minutes i mean 24 marks what a coincidence 24 minute lesson 24 marks but now is this the end no this video is still continuing because trick is still continuing in question number six you are still looking at trick so now i have to end that video because as i said i'm breaking it into small parts 
i'm going to do question six in the next video so join me in the next video you need to be subscribed so that the next notification you're going to get it is very important because you need to understand how to analyze and answer graphs this nine marks you don't want to lose it all right so join me in the next video ensure that you are subscribed and the notification bell is turned on